Friends, we've gathered together here in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Lauren and Chandler in Christian marriage. Covenant of marriage was established by God who created us male and female for each other, gave us the example of a love of a husband and a wife. Chandler and Lauren come now to give themselves one another in this holy covenant. Lauren, this is more of an open letter thank you. I will never be able to thank you enough for being the best friend I never knew I needed. You've shown me what true, genuine kindness is. It is difficult to walk through a room with you and not have you leave a positive mark on somebody's day. Chandler, you know, we've, we've been brothers. Uh, I, I can't thank you enough for how much you've treated me as a friend, you know? And we, we've been through college, I've seen you grown up, like you've really matured throughout like our career and throughout college. So I wanna thank you. Uh, you've been the best brother a man could ask for and a, and a better friend. I've known Lauren longer than most shows have had, had airtime. Um, it's been a wonderful 15 years so far and for one of your most special days, I wanted to remind the people here just how amazing you are as the main character. You are truly the sunshine in so many people's lives, mine included. You always have a kind word, a listening ear, a warm hug, and supportive advice whenever needed. You are a ball of fun. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm excited for you. This is going to be the best day of your life. One of the best days of your life. I want nothing but the best for you. Your mom and I are always here for you. And we love you so much. And you've become a fabulous woman. And you're going to be a fabulous wife. Mm -hmm. And at some point, a fabulous mom. Congratulations. We love you. You shape each other in love. Do so with great gentleness and kindness and humility and there'll be no shortage of laughter, uh, no shortage of adventures that you can have together and great things you can bring to the world. Whether Austin ever stops growing, uh, whether the world ever makes sense, you too can be a witness to love, to peace, captive to the gospel and to each other in hope, love and joy. Let's pray, Lord. Bless these two in this hour and in the hours to come. Bless them and build them, Lord, in ways that they have just begun to dream. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Chandler, take you, Lauren, to be my wife. I, Chandler, take you, Lauren, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For rich or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. All right. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Lauren, take you, Chandler, to be my husband. I, Lauren, take you, Chandler, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. You've declared your consent. You've given vows before God in this congregation. God confirm you in this covenant and fill you always with His grace. Now that Lauren and Chandler have given themselves to each other in solemn vows, they have been tied together in a lasso. They have symbolically exchanged the gifts of God's provision. I announce to you, to all, from this moment forward, that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let nobody mess with. It's a sacred privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Trail. We sat on the bus and talked about which characters we were and we were daydreaming about those adventures. You always said that you were Rosalie, a strong, passionate, empathetic woman 
who is so deeply hopeful that she inspires others. And I'm so inclined to agree. From what I've seen and heard and felt, Lauren has found her Monroe, a kind man who will always take care of her mind, body, and spirit, one who'll laugh at her jokes and understand her thoughts and loves her for all that she is. And my prayer is for long, happy, loving seasons for you both, as long as you both shall live. So cheers to you both. I'm very happy for you. Cheers. It's the message of you two loving each other and, and making space in your life for other people. To be places of sanctuary and friendship. To be creative in your kindness for others and the food you eat and the cultures you share and the stories that you tell together. <laughs>